So I decided I'm gonna go ahead and make her salad as well since the soup will take so long to cook and I'm hungry now, so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it calls for four ounces of arugula. I got the big salad bowl here because I am not sure. She makes really big salads, so I'm not quite sure um, how big it's going to end up. So I figured if I make it and then I can eat some now and some later, that will work. And I'm guessing on ounces here because... I am too lazy to pull out my food scale, I guess. And she chops up her lettuce. I like to chop up my lettuce. She's a nutritarian and follows the Eat to Live plan um, invented by Dr. Joel Furman. And so her salads are very big. And she said it usually takes a half an hour to 45 minutes to eat them. Uh, I have not made a salad as big as some of her salads are. And, it, you know, I'm eight years out from having gastric bypass surgery. So I know my stomach has definitely stretched. Um, so I'm not quite sure how much salad I could actually eat over that period of time. But I like salads. Oh, so I thought on the video she had two different types of lettuce, but it looks like she had used green cabbage. So I'm going to add some of this romaine since I have it opened. Although it doesn't look that great. Romaine is one of those things I really like it um, when it's not in a bag when I can cut it myself, but then I don't like getting a salad spinner and trying to dry it and all that. So kind of that fine line between convenience and um, what you like. She does have this really cool knife um, that I've seen a couple people use and it's kind of shaped like a U. And um, if you get the right bowl, you can just use that in the, in the bowl to chop it. So. I might invest in one of those at some point. With the fall being here, I haven't craved salads as much. Um, and I do go through phases with food, but... Uh, so I've been craving like whole wheat pasta, which I've been eating a lot of, and brown rice, um, which are processed and higher calorie foods. So, you know, that might have slowed my weight loss a bit. But, you know, it's going to take a while anyways to, you know, get to any sort of goal. I haven't made a goal, but I did grab some red cabbage, so I'll go ahead and add some of that, too. Red cabbage is always so pretty. I should try and make it one of my Instagram pretty salads. I haven't done one of those in a little while. Okay, yeah, this is definitely going to be a big salad. And who knows, you know, like her, her portions might be smaller than what I'm adding now just because I'm kind of eyeballing it. The dressing is really what I'm curious to try. So... Half a cup of, or yeah, half a cup of shredded carrots. I guess I can move this so you can see it better. Uh, a third of a medium bell pepper. there. Okay, 
had to check on my soup. She doesn't say if it needs a lid or not, so I kind of had the lid half on, half off, but when I checked on it just now, I decided just to put the lid on it. Just doing a fine dice on the peppers. Next is green onions. So she calls for 10 thin green onions or five big green onions. I, I wouldn't say these are big, but I'm just gonna use five. Okay, and then one apple pear or pear uh, cut into small cubes and then a half a cup of grapes cut into small cubes. I like to peel my pears because I just do not like the gritty texture of pear skin. I also peel my apples. I know I'm weird and I know it's not the healthiest thing. I just do not like the wax that they put on apples. Sometimes the skin will get caught in my teeth. Downside of peeling pears is they get really slippery. Just try to be patient. I know some people peel towards themselves, but I've just never been able to do that. Okay. Ooh, my eyes are burning from the onion. And I try to just cut around the core. My girls are weird. They don't really eat pear. Unless it's like canned pears they'll eat, but. So I'm just gonna dice these. I don't remember the last time I've had fruit in a salad before or I don't know before, have I had fruit in a salad? I don't even know. I've had dried cranberries on a salad, but I can't really think of when I've had fruit on a salad. I know there's like, what is it, Waldorf salad, but I don't know that I've really eaten it. But like I said, I'm excited to give this a try. I think the combination of the onions with the pear and the grapes is gonna be interesting. Okay, I'm gonna clean up and grab the grapes and I'll be right back. And I just washed my grapes. I'm gonna cut them in half. I think, yeah, in her recipe, she she says to cut them in half. I'm kinda used to cutting grapes in half for the girls. I saw a hack one time where someone took grapes and put them on like a flat plate and then put a flat plate on top and then just ran the knife in between. Looked easy, but I just feel like it's kind of easier for me to chop them. I 
I don't like mushy grapes. I don't know, comment below if you feel the same, but I like when they're crisp and juicy, crunchy. Okay, so looks like that is all the ingredients for the salad portion. And I am going to get cleaned up and get ready to make the dressing. Okay, so I'm ready to make the dressing and I'll be using my Vitamix. We've got a cup and a half of great northern beans and I, I, they're canned and so I rinsed them and kind of measured them out and it's about a cup and a half so I'm good there. And juice of two oranges. And again, I'm not trying to give away her recipes. I'm giving her credit because she has talked about them in a video. I feel comfortable sharing the recipe. And then, but please, I encourage you to go to her website that she has the link for and that I'll have the link for um, so that you can uh, sign up for her cheat sheets because they are, they're actually really great. And I left a comment on her video letting her know I appreciated that. She also um, is very organized. Man, that is something, I don't know, I guess I've never been like super organized, but since having kids, it's just like, I don't know, part of that is sleep deprivation, I think. We got up at 3.30 this morning, yay. very curious to see how this dressing tastes. My hope is if I like it, I can use it on other things too. Okay. And then juice of a medium lime. I don't have any limes right now. I just have this. So I don't know if it says, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Do a couple squirts there. Three tablespoons of rice vinegar. I haven't used rice vinegar yet, but a lot of recipes call for it. Smell the sweet potatoes. Okay, one tablespoon. So I need three of those. One, two, and three. Three tablespoons of white fruity balsamic vinegar. The only balsamic <clears throat> I have is this one, so I'm going to go with it. I haven't had a whole lot of um, balsamic vinegar in my life, but there is a vinegar store at the mall. So <clears throat> a lot of people on the nutritarian diet and, you know, various whole food plant-based diets eat a lot of vinegars on their vegetables. So it might be something I can, you know, I may end up really getting into the vinegar. Who knows? It is amazing how fast your tastes change. two teaspoons of low or no sodium mustard. I don't know that mine is low sodium, but I'm gonna use it. Looks like it does have salt in it. Okay, two teaspoons, I'm just gonna eyeball it. And quarter teaspoon of powdered ginger. I'm gonna measure that. I found these really great measuring spoons on Amazon and they are magnets in the middle, so might as well use them. And I'm not a big ginger fan, so I don't want any more than I have to have. Just kind of breaking it up here.
Okay, so directions, uh, combine all ingredients, buzz with a stick blender or use a high powered blender. So I am gonna get the lid and change angles and I'll be right back. Okay, time to give it a buzz. I will remove the sound on this part so that you don't have to hear it. Okay, I'm gonna get this poured into a container. Okay, so I forgot to say, I have my earbud in because I listen to Audible when I'm cooking and cleaning and stuff, so that's why that's in. I pour the dressing into a jar that we've recycled. I'm gonna give it a little taste. Definitely has a lot of flavor. It kind of reminds me a bit of a almost like a honey mustard. Um, definitely tangy, a little bit creamy. I guess creamy from the beans, now that I'm saying that out loud. I'm like, what had cream in it? So that's really good. I'm hoping it'll last for the fridge in a few days. I'm sure it will. Most homemade dressings usually will. So I'm going to take a couple pictures of my salad and uh, mix it up and then take out a portion and put some dressing on it and I'll show you that. So here is my salad all mixed up. I forgot to take a picture. I'm hungry, I think. Um, I forgot to take a picture of it pretty in the bowl. So uh, I think what I'll do is do a screenshot of the in the video so that I can post it on Instagram and stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm pleased with how the dressing tastes and we'll see how it tastes with the fruit. I'm sure it will taste good. So again, please go check out that link. And I am... I just filmed two videos. So one is a soup. It's a, excuse me, it is called lentil eggplant stew. So that will be in a separate video. Uh, please check that one out as well. And yeah, I'm waiting for that to cook. So once that's done, I will um, taste that as well and uh, get some videos up for you guys. So thanks for watching.